The lessons of Louisiana that I've learned that, that I would just like you to remember uh, from my talk, and I'll try to be brief, are that you can't fix the large adult uh, prison-like structures that you have now, that the best course is to just scrap them. Um, and it's their very bigness that is part of the problem. Uh, when you create these big places, anything larger than 50 beds, as my um, uh, good friend and uh, hero Paul DeMuro says, um, you've got to have a facility that the director knows the life story of every child and every uh, guard, every, every uh, adult working with the children in the place. And anything bigger than 40 or 50 beds, you just can't do that. The other thing bigness does is it, is it congregates kids away from their family. Um, and, uh, you know, these kids are all going home. They all want to go home. They all go back, uh, we, even if it were uh, from a horrible life story, as many of them do have, they go back to their community. So, um, you know, to simplify, bigness is bad. And, you know, this sort of um, the environment of uh, steel and concrete and steel doors and uh, barbed wire uh, just sends a message to these children that their lives are meaningless and that they are destined for the adult uh, system when they get out of here. Um, so bigness is bad and the adult environment is what you need to get away from. And I guess the, uh, the third sort of lesson is that it's possible that you can do it. Uh, here I understand that the prison guards union uh, carries a lot of weight politically in Louisiana, absolutely nothing, nothing gets done on criminal justice issues, including juvenile justice, uh, uh, without going through the District Attorneys Association. And uh, we managed to break them on this issue, um, but it was a long, long struggle, but it can be done. You know, there's no question that we need facilities, that we need secure care. The question is, what do they look like? And, uh, you know, you can have, you, you can even have, I mean, Kentucky's got very nice, small therapeutic facilities, if you have guards, if you have people uh, that don't have the skills to deal with uh, these young people and to get at their issues in a way that they do in Missouri and, 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 the, way, and the way that they do it at Giddings, then it's not going to matter. So you've got to find some way to uh, you know, make these places truly therapeutic. And therapeutic doesn't mean walking around in uniforms and beating kids up if they, if they look at you wrong. Um, uh, Someone also noted that sort of early intervention is the key. I disagree. Um, uh, you know, by focusing on the deep end kids, by focusing on the secure care facilities, you are doing what government should be doing, and that is addressing the most likely young people to get out and reoffend. You know, um, uh, by 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 focusing on early on, on 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 early intervention as much as I love social programs, as much as I think all our all our schools should be decent, all children need to be cared and loved and nurtured. Um, you know, the last I see and the sort of national trends politically, we're not going there. Um, and here is a set pot of money to deal with a set you know uh, um, you know group of kids that have proven an ability to threaten our public safety. So focusing on the deep end, closing those secure care facilities, those big ineffective prison-like environments, and capturing that money. You've got to keep your eye on the money and capture that for the programs at the local level which are proven effective. Uh, and you know, I guess that would be the last point, uh, actually second to last point. Don't give any money to stuff that's not proven to work. Right? I mean, it's, uh, the only place that gets away with that is the military. Um, so, so, and, and, and there's lots of examples of programs that work. And so, you know, make sure, you know, just be very, very good Republicans about this and make sure that any money you give to a program locally is effective and it's proven effective or based on models that have been proven effective. The last point is this risk and needs assessment. You've got to be very, very careful who's doing that stuff and what it looks like because uh, there are a lot of white folks that look at black and brown kids and see threat and see high risk and high need. And uh, if you don't do it objectively, if you don't have um, a, a really tight uh, instrument that uh, screens that you know, bias out, that racism out, um, you're just gonna keep swallowing kids in the system. So be very, very careful about that. Thanks.